Hello and welcome to Rage Education. That's right, I made that joke. I went there. Let's get over it and move on. My name is Gary Martin from RGG EDU, and today I just wanted to go over what RAID is, kind of where it came from, and how it is best applied for photo and video today. Now, RAID is an acronym, R-A-I-D, and it stands for Redundant Array of Independent Discs. So, in a nutshell, what RAID is, it's an enclosure, and they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. And that enclosure has independent discs inside of it, and for hardware RAID, it also has a RAID controller. So that RAID controller is almost the CPU power behind backing up or optimizing those independent disks to do different things like redundancy, striping, and making your drive more efficient or faster read-write speeds. Furthermore, there are two types of RAID that are out there that are available today. Now, the less common one is called soft RAID or software RAID. This means that the enclosure itself is taking your computer's CPU power to either back up the disk for redundancy or either optimize those disks for speed. Now with software RAID, you're going to see that it's a little bit cheaper because they don't have the RAID controller built into the enclosure, but you're going to have a little bit of a problem because it's going to eat up your computer's CPU power, thus slowing your other operations down, and it's going to take a little bit longer for you to back up that system. The second type of RAID, and really the more common RAID, is what's called hardware RAID. And a hardware RAID itself has a RAID controller built into the enclosure, which takes the place of using your computer's CPU power to do the work. So the RAID controller is now managing the disks for redundancy or optimizing the disks for speed. When you're researching different types of RAID, you're gonna see two different common terms. The first one is striping. What striping means is the RAID controller, the RAID unit is going to be writing that data on multiple disks. And this is essentially what a RAID system is. It's taking your data and it's writing it on multiple disks to really optimize for speed. So when you see striping, it's really referring to the RAID controllers optimizing for speed. And the second is mirroring. What mirroring means is essentially redundancy. Mirroring is going to take all of the data that you want. It's going to write it to one drive or multiple drives of the actual enclosure. And it's going to then copy all of that data onto the second drive. So within the enclosure itself, you're going to have two copies of the exact same data. With hardware RAID and software RAID, there are a lot of options on how to best make the decision on how much redundancy or how much striping or efficiency that you want built into your RAID system. Now, there are a lot of different RAID options. It starts with numbers, RAID 0 all the way up to RAID 60. Now, we've made a little chart for you to look at. And if you see here, there are a lot of different options and it starts with RAID 0, goes to RAID 1, RAID 1E, RAID 5, RAID 5EE, RAID 6, RAID 10, RAID 50, and RAID 60. In hardware RAID, there are numerous configurations that you can set up your drive as, and it really is dictated by the, how the drive was made and the RAID controller built into it. In the next videos, we're going to get into what RAID 0 is and how that is best maximized for speed and video editing. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Gary Martin with RGGEU.com.